What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. We have a Patreon request from Nino on Patreon. Gyro Zeppeli from one of the covers of Steel Ball Run. So everyone on Patreon requested um, Jojo characters this month. So you're probably going to see a lot of Jojo characters. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's kind of like Gyro with the snow. Like he's looking, peering out into the snow. And he's got one of his balls balancing on his fingers like in the middle of his forehead so let's give this a go it's a three-quarter pose so three-quarter poses are always kind of tricky right i'm a landscape page use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if i go too fast so i'm going to start with his sort of large eye here we'll, we'll do the eyes the nose first right so just let's let's give this our best shot so so the eye sort of goes up and around and down right for the top eyelid line and in jojo style this is like thick and dark and there's eyelashes as well right that kind of shape and then we can see tear duct is coming in around here and then the bottom eyelid comes around like that and it curves up here maybe and the inside of that eyeball is like there so of course in Covers are always very detailed, and he goes kind of sort of pretty realistic with them. So his iris just in there, purple iris, curves around like so. And then he has highlights and things drawn in first before the. So say like we're drawing the pupil. So it's like it's here. Slightly to the left because he's he's looking off this direction. So you wouldn't put it right in the middle. You go slightly to the left, and then we have actually drawn in sort of highlights, right, like here, and some there might be like some hatching lines just on the eye, like that, and then an eyelash line on the bottom, so the eyelashes kind of go around. Some eyelashes kind of sticking off here. Some lines up. He's lots of hatching. I won't draw in all the hatching, but you know, feel free. If you want to do that, you can. So then his eyebrow, just around here, is up. Out the back, like that. And then it's got like some hair on the end. And then it goes up and back down this way. Around like so, and there is some like texture inside here. And his eyelid line in under there. some hatching of dots and stuff just for his brow and some hatching under here like some more lots of hatching lines and stuff like manga style I'll just do some you just get the main shapes in so then coming down from his eyebrow we have his nose right so coming down here 
very close to the eyebrow and then the nose kind of curves out down like that and then we will bump it out down into there and there's a nostril here right And there's like delicate hatching to show the nose, the shape of the nose itself, right? So there's a bit of a shadow here, and then this goes diagonal and around for the nostril there. And then like there's a line on the tip of his nose Goes like this way, but it's it's just really hatching that's that shows this nothing. You know, there's all these sort of hatching lines and things like that, and then some hatching along the bottom of his nose. So like tip of his nose is like there, and then some hatching along the bottom. Just to show it's kind of shadowy. So then, so his eyebrow grows out from here and goes underneath his hat, right? So the eyebrow goes like that way. Disappears under his hat, so we won't draw it all. There's some texture there like that. And then his other eye curves out that way. Now we are in three-quarter pose, so that means this eye is smaller than this one. Okay, so they're not the same size. It's um, important to remember this one is like smaller. See? And then he actually draws in the side of the eyeball because we can see it. And then this goes down and around into there. We just thicken this up a little bit. And then there's some eyelash lines on this. And then his iris. Semicircle just there. And his pupil over to the left slightly because he's looking off to the left. And then highlights. Now if you want hatching there. Right. Okay, so just below the nose, well, I'll just thicken this up this eyelash a little bit, and there's an eyelid line as well. Uh, right, so just below the nose, his lips, right? So his top lip, real big, like this. It's like a stretched out letter M and this side is always going to be longer than that side because we're in three quarter pose and then it goes back that way and then the top lip comes down up down that way into the corner of the mouth like so. It's like he's done some dark shadows in here, so we can see some teeth, right? So, some teeth just there. And then, like, his bottom lip goes all the way back to there. And there's a dark shadow on this side of the teeth. Like that, and then his bottom lip curves out around down like that and up.
Yeah, so unusual sort of drawing of the lips there. And then we got like some hatching just on his top lip. And then we can see a little bit of his teeth. Drawn in there as well. And then there's a shadow underneath. His chin. Some like hatching. And then there's another line on his nose or lips here. And then a shadow line that comes around the nostril. Some hatching in there as well. Okay, so side of his face and his cheek, right? So coming out from say the eyelashes here, right? So we've got his cheek comes down. And then this comes out for his chin, right? Around like that. And then our jaw goes up this way. Then change direction and go up like so. So just up here we'll have just another line for his brow a little bit just there. Maybe some hatching just inside. That. and then he has those things on his on his on his chin and I don't know if they have a name or anything but those pieces of metal And we just have his sideburn just here spiking kind of hairlines. Like so. And his ear comes out from under his thumb, so I'll just wait. Maybe there's like Bit of an ear line just there. His, his hand comes out from there, so we can't really see much, but there's more hair lines and stuff here. And I'm going to give him one of those JoJo cheek lines, just going down that way. Okay, so then his hat, right? So So how far this goes past, like to there somewhere. All right, like that. And then, so like, what can we see? So we can see like some of his ear. Right? So we'll draw, I'll draw in the whole ear and then I'll erase afterwards if we need to. So I'll draw in the whole, it's some of it's covered by his, his thumb, but I'll just draw it all in. It's just 
because it's easier just to get everything in the right place. Adding some lines on the inside of the ear now. It's like a shadow in there. That and then hair and neck, right? So what we can see of his, like we've got like an Adam's apple sort of thing going on here. And then his collar comes down this way. And then the other side of his collar comes down here. There might be a bit of a shadow just underneath his chin. So, maybe like a neckline, just there, something else there. And then we have long hair, so long hair curving down. Out like this. Another one going down this way, right from underneath his chin. It's up to here, there. Spikes down that way, there. Just lots of texture lines and hair lines on his hair now that and then the rest of his shoulder right so he's got like snow these bumping sort of white snow lines just on his shoulder there and that's his collar of his clothing way and then all hair coming down from his hand and stuff here so say so like the back of his head would be here and then like a hair spike there and then long hair going down that way some long hair coming out from his ear back up around down to there like so and just keep adding these sort of spiking hairlines <coughs> don't stop never go up never go up never surrender down like that and then you just add like all texture inside So this is going behind his shoulder now, and I think his shoulder will just be where you're gonna put it kind of here. Right? It's got all snow on it. So it's all bumpy. Alright, and another sort of line. His shoulder there. And then all these sorts of More snow here. And 
And then the back of his collar, I think. So this is his collar, right? So it goes up around here, and then down around there. And then this has to have all hair texture inside, just to distinguish what we're looking at. So it goes down that way. And then I think more snow. Just these kind of bumpy shapes. And then his collar line, the clothes lines and stuff. It'll just add more texture to his hair. Okay, so now we have hands, right? So a big hand coming across here, one coming across here, and ball in the center. So kind of a tricky hand position. It's got snow all over it as well. So keep going. So Start with the finger here, like just above his eyebrow. Maybe, yeah. So, just like so, and bring it around. Into there, down like that. And then another finger line going that way. Right? So these are all finger segments. You have three segments on your fingers, right? And then this will come back to there. And like his hand goes up that way, right? So his thumb comes down over his ear, right? So his thumb comes down there. And it'll go over the ear. And kind of back up this way into there. Another bump. Another thumb line there. So you'd erase that ear line. And then this will go back like so, with some hatching and stuff. Like another sort of hand line there. And the palm of his hand comes around his glove, which goes up and around to there. So then, Four lines here for his arm, which just goes down off my page. And like the back of his hand has all snow on it as well. Let's say here, which goes off that way. All these sort of fold lines. There's like a green wristband or something up here with snow on it. Lots of texture and stuff on all this and many details. My patrons really love giving me hair drawings. So this goes up. This way, right? And lots of snow on his on the top of his hand here now, so it's like kind of bumpy. And you get down to here. You got like a knuckle for his finger, which goes down this way, and then around for this segment of his hand. And so that means that's his little finger. So then that goes back that way. Right? unusual sort of hand shape but there's all snow <clears throat> on it as well 
So like with drawings like this, you're just, you're, you're kind of just adding as you see stuff. I know I'm not, I'm adding just all these bumpy lines for the snow. And I'll just shade them gray. Of course, there's lots of hatching and things, but I won't be able to do all that. And I'll just bring his finger, it's got some snow on it. Back to there, right? And then the bottom of his hat, back here, which has gaps in it, right? So these. gaps in it like that and then so the ball and the other hand right so the ball is just like above the fingers here so it kind of like connects them so if you have a compass or something circular that you can draw around feel free to use it like a cup or like a stencil even Right, but there's a kind of a circular shape, and then we got like details inside like this. And then a hexagon or something inside here. This is a pretty complicated drawing now, so I hope you're hitting your pause button. Um, hopefully, it's helpful. And there's like, you know, some hatching and different sorts of sections all along the edges of these shapes. Right, like that, and then the other hand, so finger up, down, up, goes that way. Like the back of his hand is here, so say the finger comes out, his index finger here. So the ball is like balanced on this finger, it looks like, and then knuckle down, next finger. round like that and then the next finger so it comes down from his knuckle kind of here down there and around and then the next finger so three segments one two three Three. It's like some hatching and kind of knuckle lines and stuff on this. And then some fingernails. Oh man, this is a complicated drawing. So there's like some hatching here. This must have taken him ages. Fingernail under there. that way and then the back of his hand which has snow right again so a bumpy sort of
And he goes back that way and there's snow all coming down his hand. Right there. And then the palm of his hand out like so, curve line. And then the bottom that way. Like another sort of skin line there. Like some hatching and things. Like that. Okay. Man, I'm getting hurt. <laughs> oh, God. I'm getting hurt and hungry. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Is this good content? Um, so the hand wrist area right, and this goes down this way off my page like his his wrist goes off that way and then his the other side of his hat is there and his hat has all snow and stuff as well so yeah like all bumpy kind of snow lines well, I'm just making this up on that copy in the picture exactly. I'm just seeing what's there and then glasses and there's those gaps in the hat. Like so. Right, so then like the top of his head is like nearly completely covered in snow, but we can see some of the goggles, right? So goggle there, and then like goggle, say here, but about halfway, it just becomes obliterated by snow. So like all this kind of stuff. some of those goggle sections there's like gaps in his goggles just these strips and then the edge and then another dark strip three of them here they're just colored black in the picture I'm drawn from so Hmm. Don't get distracted. Okay, keep going. Go on here. How many people got this far in the video? <laughs> Things I do for my patrons, huh? some hatching just on the edge maybe some on the bottom and then the top of his hat covered in snow so bumping around like that and then some like hatching down here there and like that snow line kind of just disappears Like that. And I think that's it. Thank God. Yeah. Okay. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. If anyone else has crazy requests <laughs> like this, um, head on over to Patreon and I'll do my best. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.